Nathan Sass, well bowled. That was an incredible performance in the field by Middlesex to uh, defend what looked like a low total at the halfway stage, especially given that shorter boundary. Yeah, I think we played on that wicket a few weeks back in Surrey and they obviously got up, upwards of 200, but we knew if we put a score on the board with the bowling attack that we had put out tonight and adding Majib to that, into the frame, anything's defendable. So we weren't too concerned. We would have liked a few more runs. Yeah, we could work on things in the middle, but I think all in all, we've done a pretty good job with the ball tonight. Majib who? You got a three for? Yeah, he, he set the tone. Like It's incredible to be able to come and bowl after someone like that because their two best players are out with him and Helmy up top. It just really sets the tone for the rest of us and makes it a lot easier. For, sorry. Yeah, and, and you know, like I say, at the halfway stage, it felt with that lower, that shorter boundary and Surrey having hit the record score here at Lords on that track, 224, I think it was, it felt a long, long way right. Like, in the dressing room, you wouldn't have thought of that at that point, though, other than just do what we did well, because Sussex, credit to them, did bowl very, very well as well. Yeah, they did bowl really well in that middle period. I think credit to Max and Eski, they got us off to a cracking start, which probably that partnership really won the game tonight so yeah that obviously we were talking to change we wanted to score up with 200 but it didn't happen tonight and we had to put in a big performance in the ball and we did that was it um a much changed pitch from the surrey match uh, it was obviously used from a couple of weeks ago but um, it slowed down a little or? i'm not sure i think it's still a fairly good track i think it's just a little bit different and i think the way we got off to a fly i think they might have thought it was a little bit better than it was and maybe pushed a little bit too hard and we got the rewards early so I don't think the wicket was pretty good. I think, as you've seen that first first innings, how well we started, there was nothing wrong with the wicket. It's catch-up time for Middlesex in the group. We need to win all the games to hopefully grab uh, one of the final spots in the group. Uh, the last couple of matches will have filled you all with plenty of confidence with bat and ball. Yeah, definitely. We, we set ourselves a target at the Oval that we wanted to try to win 7 from 7. We obviously had that draw the other night, which was disappointing, but we got a point out of it anyway. So. I think if we play cricket like that, we can really give the last four games a big shake and we're definitely up for that. I definitely want to win every game. So, yeah, I'm really keen to think the boys are getting a little bit of a roll on. We go down to Taunton tomorrow. It's another tough ground to bowl up, but if we bowl up that again, we should be right in the hunt and the batters can do the job as well. That'll be a bit, one of the biggest challenges tomorrow night at Fortress Taunton, as it always is for Somerset. If you were able to pick up a win, though, that would set the tone for those final few games. Yeah, it leaves, leaves us on nine points with three to play and it really... Hopefully a few results start going our way as well and you never know what can happen in cricket, can you? Well bowls. Thank Thanks you. For your time.